good morning, good evening, good afternoon, students and traders all around the world. This is the boss broadcasting live on YouTube and other streaming platforms. Oh, but you are not the boss. <laughs> well, in the advanced course, you know, when it comes to live accounts, you know. Anyway, everybody, this is new for today. Goal for the beginner trader from zero to a millionaire trader in three years right on average in an institutional way what is the institutional way hedge fund brokers you know of course this is general me generalizing right but you are going to graduate from this course when number one you have your chart set up and ready for trading number two you have a strategy in place you understand probabilistic thinking and number three you have a complete understanding on how this market works so you can analyze the chart the market and make an educated prediction All right risk disclaimer especially in the forex trading week where we are trying to implement what we have learned so far you know 90 percent of traders lose all around the world and these streams these webinars are not trading or investment advice questions or homeworks you have my gmail and skype everybody how is our AUD CAD from yesterday? We entered AUD CAD, right? From yesterday, this is the four hour chart. So the market broke the <coughs> trend line, right? It went back up, now down, all right? Yes, good morning to you, good morning, good evening. We had a difficult lesson yesterday, right? Talking about probabilities and everything. Everybody type in the chat, should we get out of AUD CAD? Because it's not moving. Should we get out of AUD CAD or should we stay in the trade? This is the stop loss. This is the take profit. The analysis was made yesterday. I'm not going to repeat it. You have the recording everybody but this is the market right now type in the chat should we get out because the market it's not moving or should we stay in hedge fund trader Ernesto hedge fund trader Shola hedge fund trader Clara hedge fund trader Allah hedge fund trader Yordanka and everybody else should we stay in the trade or should we get out of the trade what do you think and then we're going to move on the next ones, right? There is no right or wrong. What do you think? Boss, what do you mean? What do you think? You are habitually behaving in a manner. Make sense? Or is it too difficult to comprehend what we are talking about? me and you we are habitually doing something so some of you when it comes to trading some of you are going to <clears throat> let the trade open even though the market is not going in your way it's not giving you any money you know or you might you know close the trade like oh this is not going anywhere i'm not making any money you know i'm staring at the chart and I'm going to find another currency pair to trade. So should we close the trade? What do you think? Somebody type not on, not on YouTube everybody on the other streaming platform. What boss? What about Euro dollar? All right, Euro dollar. Euro dollar, Euro dollar. And everybody, what we're trying to do in the, we are trying to trade the Fibonacci's, right? We are trying to trade the Fibonacci's. By the way, we are having the uh, Fibonacci Mastery. If you want to join, not for beginners, not for beginners, you know, but we are having the Fibonacci Mastery starting from Saturday 25th of august all right everybody if you want to join not for free 
not for free price is a filter not for free all right euro dollar euro dollar euro dollar everybody give me a second out 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 all right euro dollar we have an up fibonacci original one we have the contrarian moving down sub a sub b sub c sub d Danchi, I rather wait, maybe put break even. Danchi, I'm learning Slovenian and I'm learning Croatian too. How are you? Long time no see. Matija, it's in the advanced course. Maybe he can help. He can help you, right? All right, everybody. What about? Can I trade the contrarian Fibonacci? Or even better, let's ask a better question, okay everybody? Now, this course has been running for 8 months. Knowing what you know, are you, general question, are you long on euro dollar today or are you short on euro dollar today right now are you trying to go long to buy euro dollar or are you trying to go short and to sell euro dollar as direction Hedge fund trader Danchi pronouncing correctly your name? Before it was Dancy, then Matthias says said Danchi. You have a lot of ch j ch k sounds. Let's talk about trading boss. Alright, 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 let's talk about trading. Hedge fund trader Danchi. Do you want to go long on euro dollar talking about direction we are going to get to the pedanos later or do you want to short euro dollar exactly whatever everybody it doesn't matter if you are a swing trader day trader scalper news trader position trader or the unicorn trader you know are you trying this week are you trying or today are you trying to buy euro dollar or are you trying to sell euro dollar? What's the answer? Hello Suresh, how are you? Hedge fund trader Clara, hedge fund trader Julius, hedge fund trader Ala, hedge fund trader Jordanka, hedge fund trader Shola, hedge fund trader Ernesto. If you are here and everybody else, long or short on euro dollar? The trader from the other streaming platform is is yelling. I want to see YouTube guys to talk. Yeah, put in the chat. Long or short? Everybody, I cannot do this work for you. Make sense? The forex trading week is for you to trade, make mistakes, lose demo account pips. And this is your learning experience. I know that you, most of you want to tell me what to do, but when the stream is over, you know, you are trying to acquire a skill. Denchi says long, stop loss. Are you already in Denchi? Suresh too, bye. Denchi. Do you want to buy right now? Who remembers what was the lesson yesterday? Yes, talking about probabilities, right? Sources sell. Great, excellent. Somebody wants to buy, somebody wants to sell. Yeah, I have a 20 seconds delay on the chat. Danchi, are you already in the trade? 
Yes, why not buy now? Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right, very good. Congratulations, this is the learning, right? So, buy market stop loss is going to be 1.08343. And take profit, one point one three one one seven submit submit all right we are in the trade thank you very much all right we are here stop loss take profit very good sorry on the first post wrong timing yes i am excellent very good Danchi, you are the trader, I'm the student. Simple question. Boss, how do you know <clears throat> the market's going to go up? Yeah, you don't need to you don't need to put the whole analysis, it's too much text, but <clears throat> <coughs> pardon. Simple terms, how do you know that the market's going to go up? And I'm going to challenge you not right or wrong everybody I'm not saying that Dunch is wrong I'm a student of the markets and I'm questioning you know this is the trade risk reward ratio it's excellent but boss we are still below the downtrend line I don't know for sure but my strategy it's making me to go long. My, ec excellent, perfect. There is no right or wrong. What is the setup? Type in the chat, please. What is the setup? <laughs> what is the setup? Is the bullish candlestick formation? Is maybe pass support? Whatever. You know? Anybody else wants to go long short on Euro dollar for our chart? Danchi is your trade on the 4 hour chart, 1 hour chart, daily chart. Maybe I'm not fair, right? Maybe I'm not fair, you know, being on the 4 hour chart because I don't know. In the meantime, we are together for 8 months, everybody. And the institutional way my side of the story right my experiences so far probabilistic thinking right i'm on the and by the way download this and watch it over and over and over again i'm on the monthly chart i know already that 80 percent of you are not going to listen to me no, I'm on the monthly chart and I have a down market wave I have a down Fibonacci original one right so two points for the bears I have a bearish pressure three points for the bears and fair enough fair enough I don't have a confirmed C points for the bulls Setup is indicating trading view and Fibonacci in the four. What what indicator? Maybe we have on J Forex two. All right, everybody. Probabilistic thinking and long term downtrend. So it's bulls and bears fight. All right it's three to one now i have an uptrend line you know it's not this uptrend is not confirmed so maybe but we are at past resistance which is an area it's not aligned to the pip or pivot point the market reacted so long story short the monthly is telling me to 
Type in the chat everybody, the monthly is telling me to buy, to go along, or is the monthly telling me to sell? My indicator customer, okay, what, what is your, thank you very much, Nanchi, what is your indicator? It's a copy of what, super trend maybe, moving average, Hekinashi, more or less, just for us to have an idea, right? Nothing wrong, there is no right or wrong, everybody, all right? We are here to learn. So if I've been on the professional Forex Trader Course 101, after eight months, this is what my thought process should be. Dimitar, sell, very good, excellent, sell, sell, excellent, very good. All right, I'm going to go on the weekly chart and I'm going to do the same, right? You know? Boss, what? So again, right? Before I read again, you know, students not listening, all right? All right. So, boss, I don't need the monthly and the weekly. I'm trading the one hour. Not true. Make sense, everybody? Probabilistic thinking, the higher. What is one of the cardinal concepts in forex trading? The higher time frame controls price action on the smaller time frames. So it doesn't matter about day trading, scalping, whatever. And it doesn't matter if you're on the 15 minute chart, one hour chart, four hour chart. The monthly and the weekly and the daily have an impact. All right? So weekly chart, original Fibonacci is down, market wave is down. Market wave is down, you know, two points for the bears. Fibonacci, the market broke the uh, Fibonacci the confirmation. We have the contrarian point, point for the bulls. Point for the bulls, everybody. But the market, so I cannot take this one in consideration, it's still forming. But the market, momentum, momentum, the market is breaking the uptrend line, not closed yet, so I need to pay attention. So I have two points for the bulls. Now half point for the bulls or the bears, right? So is the market going to break the uptrend line? Right? And points for the bulls this time to go long, we're at pass, pivot point, right? Or pass support. So, the monthly is a sale, agreed everybody? Now the weekly it's 50-50, right? It's a shady thing, you know? Still going down, but pass support, pivot point, uptrend line, maybe breaking, you know? All right? Uh, short term trend uh, down down market way point for the bears but the short term trend is still up point for the bulls so from the month from the weekly standpoint the bulls and the bears are fighting for control not indicator depends on simple moving average all right all right excellent excellent how many of them do you have? 20 simple mover each, 20, 50, 100? Some books are teaching this, don't worry. Some books are teaching you that you have setups with a simple moving average of 100, you know, 50, 20. Everybody, you have a clone chart. Everybody, I'm not sure if trading view. I never checked, but Jake Forex, J Forex has Goopy indicator. Let me see if I found Goopy, 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 Goopy multiple average. All right. Nice, huh? How this? Uh, it, this is a so I'm going to delete a few things everybody delete 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 
Lucas copy programmers please put a button that I can erase all the indicators and all the drawings I don't have it right click you know now trading view does you want to be better than trading view put the buttons you know delete erase erase nice huh? how this works and even better boss what is this one it's the goopy indicator colors themes dark theme it's called goopy i don't know how to pronounce better nice huh maybe it's going to help some of you everybody you know i i'm not sure but anyway up and down up and down Yes, you need to back test it, right? All right, and again, give me a second, everybody. And settings, colors, themes, light. There you go. Lights on. All right, delete. So, uh, 20 and 200, 20 and 200, forex, add indicators, simple, simple moving average, uh, 20, 20, 20, 20, output, uh, make it bigger, 20, and this is going to be red, add, and, and everybody give me a second, Double click. This is going to be 20 and 200. 200 says Danchi. Green, alright, and green, alright. So this is the daily chart. Alright. So not sure about the indicators, how we are using them. Anyways, everybody. Monthly is a sell, weekly is more or less. What about the daily? The daily Fibonacci original one is up, right? Point for the bulls. Market wave is up, point for the bulls. Indicators, well, 200 simple moving average, the market still above, but is below the 20. Danchi, what about that? The market is below the 20, right? And the market broke the uptrend line, points for the bears. Points for the bears, the market broke, right? We don't have a crown yet. The short term trend is down, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, point for the bears too, point for the bears, not sure about, let me zoom in everybody, highs and lows, out and high and well, it's not a high, right? So I need to go here, delete this one, delete this one, high to low, this is not a high, so low, this is a high, this is a low, and then we have low to high, high to low, lower low, right? So the market's falling, bearish candlestick formation all right everybody yes boss can you repeat please all right daily chart this time daily chart points for the bulls so bulls right bulls number one market market wave is up market wave is up Number two, original FIBO is up, right? Those are the bulls, 
bears, bears, bears. STT, shortened trend is down. Bearish CF, candlestick formation. Counter trend and break. Everybody help me out. Is there anything else that we can put to the for bulls and bears? Hedge fund trader Dimitar, hedge fund trader Danchi, hedge fund trader Suresh, do you see anything else? So far, talking about probabilities and direction, it's bear. It's a bear, everybody. Now on the daily. Yeah, I'm, I might be biased, right? I might be biased. I'm asking for your help. Reasons to go long. It's the market wave, the orange one. Point for the bulls. Reasons to go long is the original Fibonacci, point for the bulls. But on the other side, shortened trend, the yellow one making lower lows or highs, point for the bears, bearish candlestick formation, daily chart, point for the bears, counter trend line break, point for the bears, uh, point for the, for the bulls, pass support, why not? Pass support. Pay support. Daily Fibonacci is up and golden rectangle. My risk rewards one to seven, so risk one to four. Oh, let me see something. Uh, right, give me a second. Denchi, Danchi, Denchi, Denchi, Danchi. Do you want me to help you right now? Confirmation with down, very good. Danchi, hopefully you are trading a demo account. Can I help you right now? All right. So, contra fibo a point for point for the bears. Retracement. Well, we're we're at past support, so the retracement already happened. Yes, help me. All right. Dan, share your live account on, or demo account. Everybody, let's have Dan, share, right? If the boss, which is me in this case, right, knows what he's talking about. The Danchi, your take profit is up in here. It's above the demo, all right, you're smart, thank you very much. At least we are smart, right, demo account? Danchi, your take profit is up in here, right? Danchi's take profit. Danchi's take profit. It's up in here. Based on what you see, you know, everybody listen to me. And I've been struggling for the last two weeks with you traders. Listen to me very carefully. I'm not against smart money concepts, right? Not against. I am pro learning if this helps you to understand the market better, do it. But now you have a great example when Danchi has a plan. Just an example. Maybe it could be another person, right? John, let's call John. John has a plan and the plan is, oh, because I know some guy, I talk to some guys, you know, and all right, let's not start a fight. You know, in my opinion, Smart money concepts don't work in the forex market, all right? But I'm not against, not against. Don't start, don't yell at me, don't be a hater. I'm not against. So they have a plan, you know, one, two, 25 risk reward ratio. And I'm going to be a millionaire. I just need one. 
and I have a friend in Australia who was trading like that all right so he won sometimes but he also lost sometimes long story short you know those setups have a fallacy what's the fallacy boss because smart money concepts are too subjective then the way those guys trade they're not going to agree with me you know i know already because i fight already with them those guys cannot repeat setups in uh, what i call in an institutional way make sense they cannot make every when you're collecting samples when you are when you are when you're collecting when you're back testing right the common sense you know the institutions are going to tell you well you need to have a sample size you know 200 samples a thousand samples you know logarithmic trading and such you know they have a sample size and they can see if the strategy or the setup has an edge or not make sense everybody now smart money concepts don't work in this sense they are too subjective you know not to talk about BS telling you that you are going to trade in the footsteps of the banks you know call Dukas Copy online call uh, <laughs> call Yanis you know and ask Yanis you know is this entry yours you know is Dukas Copy buying or selling euro dollar right now and he's going to laugh at you make sense everybody and unfortunately people don't listen you know I'm telling everybody prove me wrong man prove me wrong call, call a bank trader you know whatever bank that it's trading the forex market and ask them you know did you go long in here or did you go short in here they're going to laugh at you make sense everybody again don't be hater don't hate me you know I'm not against I'm not against I'm just sharing my opinion but if you find three, four, five banks laughing at you, telling you what the heck are you talking about, then I would suggest you to think. You know, with your two neurons like me, you know, think, you know, so maybe, you know, there's something is not true in here, right? All right, everybody, no, not to get into a fight, nothing against, I'm pro learning. If this helps you, use them, study them. All right but in my opinion so far doesn't work never worked by the way so helping Danchi what is the probability look at the monthly chart let me take a mouse there you go what is the probability Danchi and everybody else you know of this trade being a winner we all love 1 to 45 risk reward ratio don't you what do you think no I'm not arrogant come on you know I'm trying to help the guy and I'm asking a question but believe me I know what I'm talking about all right yes we had Marcus Marcus one of my friends he made 600 percent in one week very good pat yourself in the back low probability exactly hello Julius how are you low probability see how this works everybody low probability how much and, and, and even better you know if the if you are a winner now this is advanced trader question why advanced because advanced traders have enough experience and they are honest they know what works and what doesn't seven times out of ten so if you win Danji, is this based on what you see is this luck or is this oh I'm a skilled trader this is an advanced trader question the beginner trader arrogant 
And I was back in time. The beginner trader is going to get on the defensive, you know. No, because uh, I know and, you know, it's going to be a winner and... Hello Julius, How yes you're late. Marcus made 600% in one week. If he would have a million dollars live account, he would make 600 millions. Fair enough. Wow. Not wow, then he lost everything. Doing this stuff that some of you are doing. Make sense? The institutional approach is consistency. January, February, March, June, July. At least this is the goal, right? Luck, exactly. It's luck. No, it's not luck because I have the setup and, and, and I have the, my proprietary trading system and, and the moving averages. The monthly chart is staring at you and is telling to you based on trade what you see is a short, not a long. I sent you my setup on Skype. I buy Fibonacci on 4 hour with my daily indicator green low private. Sure, sure, nothing wrong, nothing wrong. Denchi, come on, man. Everybody, I'm not saying that Danchi, Danchi is wrong, all right? But I need to address that, all right, even though I have 1 to 17 set up, when, I, when I'm staring at the grand grand grandfather, which is the monthly, you know, and some of you still won't listen after eight months, you know, and then next year is going to be, oh, why I'm not making it, why, why I'm not making it, you know, boss help me, you know. Well, start to listen, start to do think, things. Fair enough? There is no right or wrong, but you need to address those kind of things. Make sense? And, and again, you know, this is 1 to 17, 1 to 7, all right, but it's low probability. And if the market gets up based on what we see, you know, probabilistic thinking it's a skill all right you know I'm going to maybe I'm going to win this one you know who knows and I'm going to pat myself on the back and say oh you know yeah I won and you are going to do the next one but the next one might be a loser and the next one you are not going to have most likely the same setup and it's going to be a winner and the next one might be a loser again and being emotionally not skilled, you know, you are not going to wait up in here, you know, to to higher highs and lower lows on the four hour chart, you know. Make sense? Shola, Shola is in the advanced course. You can ask Shola, what is this all about? Making money, <laughs> making money, it's not what you think it is. Right, Shola? The business part of trading, everybody, once you are over the Forex Course 101, this business, Clara Chu, Julius Chu, this business is not what, uh, is not what you think what it, it is, right? All right, so daily, back to the Forex trading week. So implementing what we have learned so far, you know, we have, Bulls, market wave, original Fibonacci, pass support to, for the market to go up. But still the bears are winning. Contrarian Fibonacci is still valid. Counter trend line break, short on trend is down. Bearish candlestick formation, you know? Make sense everybody? Point for the bulls again. What is that? Where we are at the pivot point, right? Pivot, pivot, pivot point. All right. I'm trying not to be biased on what I think is going to happen. I'm trying to objectively analyze the market, analyze the chart. 
and objectively come to a conclusion on it doesn't really matter if I'm going to buy or sell, it doesn't really matter but talking about probabilities Euro dollar right now you know looks like what? who is going to... so one you have four points for the bulls you have four points for the bears you know so who is stronger? market wave, original Fibonacci, pass support pivot point you know but the market still falling down so short on trend lower lows lower highs and then everybody you go on the 4 hour chart so when the monthly is down right and the weekly it's 50 50 and the daily is 50 50 today right now what are you going to do in here? Well, then, then she went long. Right? There is no right or wrong. You can go long as Danchi, you can go short, you know, shorting whatever, short and trend, contrary and Fibonacci, maybe not, you know, risk reward ratio. Alright everybody, any other currency pairs you want to check? So we are in two trades so far. We are in AOD CAD from yesterday and we are on Euro Dollar today. Shorting AOD CAD yesterday, long Euro Dollar today. Any other trades do you want to check? Julius, you are looking at GBP USD. Did you enter the trade, Julius? Did you go long on or short? I'm not sure. GBP USD. Did you go long or short on GBP USD? Everybody have five minutes if you want to ask any questions. GBP USD, wow, monthly, monthly, weekly. Yeah, I have a 20 seconds delay, I'm sorry. And Julius was looking at the 4 hour chart, right? 4 hour chart. Long or short, what time frame, what pattern, where is the stop loss? Those, so those are the 5 basic questions a beginner trader in this course should ask, right? I want to go short. Well, shorting the market, we don't have time to do the monthly and the weekly, let's check just the daily. Daily chart, daily chart, daily market wave, extension, retracement, not sure about this one, give me a second, lower lows or highs. So extension high to low low high to low all right let me see if this is a retracement everybody high to low yes it is so extension retracement extension retracement and extension Julius you are still in an up market way from the daily before you go short I would suggest you for the market to break this low from the daily you have double bottoms in here and just maybe you are going to see you know so far we are locked in this small consolidation all right Julius is this helping you if you go short, go short up in here, but it's going to be high risk because most of the things are stacked against you. Up Fibonacci, up market wave, trend line, up trend line, maybe. See everybody, it's all the same. Whoops, the market broke the up trend line. The market broke, so points for the but also the market looks like it's breaking now and 
now. Everybody, can you do this? Can you think like this? Can you think like this, everybody? Can you apply monthly, weekly, daily? Can you look for the points, bear points, bull points? And based and and to rate, you're always you're always going to obey the strategy rules, but based on the points, you determine. All right, I need to go long or short because my strategy, like Dancy is Danchi saying, no, it's my strategy telling me to go long. Just if you believe it's low probability, risk less. Boss, but the weekly and the monthly wave are down. Uh, don't have time, but just quickly, just quickly. Julius, you are at the monthly band. Long term direction, staring at you. The market hit the lower band, Julius. The market hit the lower band. The market can do anything it wants, but not 7 times out of 10. This market long term it's up Julius, not down. Can you see it Julius? Can you see it? Alright everybody, our time is up, see you back tomorrow with another forex trading week. Until tomorrow, stay strong and trade like a responsible business owner. Risk less on a low probability trade. So trade like a boss, alright?